Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this functional equations problem. Given A is any positive real numbers and F is continuous functions on real numbers such that Fx plus Y equal to A to the power of Xy times X plus Y times Fx times Fy for any real numbers X and Y. And we are looking for all the solutions of these functional equations. To solve this problem, we are going to use simply algebra to convert these functional equations into Cauchy exponential equations. As we can see that x plus y to the power of 3 is equal x to the power of 3 plus 3xy times x plus y plus y to the power of 3. And of course, xy times x plus y equal to this quantity. So we can replace xy times x plus y with this quantity. So we have fx plus y equals to a to the power of this quantity times fx times fy. And we are grouping a to the power of x plus y to the power of 3 over 3 with fx plus y. And grouping a to the power of minus x to the power of 3 over 3 with fx. And last, we grouping a to the power of minus y to the power of 3 over 3 with fy. So we have these functional equations. If we suppose that gx equal to fx times a to the power of minus x to the power of 3 over 3, we can see that this functional equations is actually the Cauchy exponential equations. Since f is continuous functions and a to the power of minus x to the power of 3 over 3 is also continuous functions on real number, so we have g is continuous functions on real numbers. So by the Cauchy exponential equations theorem that all the functions, all the continuous functions that satisfying Cauchy exponential equations are gx equal to 0 or gx equal to c to the power of h which c is positive real numbers. By substituting the definitions of g, so we have fx equal to 0 or fx equal to c to the power of x times a to the power of x to the power of 3 over 3. And it's easy to check that fx equals 0 is a trivial solution for the functional equations on the problem. And it's also easy to check that for any positive real number c, fx equal to c to the power of x times a to the power of x to the power of 3 over 3 is also satisfying the functional equations on the problem. So all the solutions of the problem is fx equal to 0, or fx equal to c to the power of x times a to the power of x to the power of 3 over 3, which c is any positive real number. And there we are done.